Greetings, Clashers one and all, and thank you so much for joining me once again for another exciting sneak peek episode of Clash of Clans Attacks. You've seen the Grand Warden, but now it's time to see him on defense. That's right, in all of his stone-faced glory, the Warden turns into a statue when he goes on defense. So here we are getting our first look at an early version of a Town Hall 11 build, obviously still missing a bunch of new defenses and the new Eagle Artillery, but we can see the Grand Warden patrolling a set to air mode right now. Now this is again a developer account, so it's that weird you're attacking yourself thing. Right now he is set to air mode, and so he will be air mode on defense and offense. There you see the little wing icon indicating that he is set to air. So here we go, Chief on Chief, and watch the Grand Warden as this attack gets underway. He's floating right there, and as soon as the attack starts, he is going to hightail it back and turn into a statue. And immediately, you can see the aura. You can see his passive ability, the life aura, and the area that it will affect. And it's going to affect not just the heroes, but of course the clan castle troops and the skeleton trap skeletons all receiving that hit point buff as long as they are within the life aura. So the dragons are moving in and the Grand Warden is being deployed on offense, but watch him on defense as he fires on the Lava Pups, reaching out with that long range and zapping the Lava Pups out of the way. So again, that very long range of the staff and quickly we are learning that the Grand Warden is a force to be reckoned with on defense as well as offense between the hit point buff and the damage that he does himself. He is not to be taken lightly. And right here, the Eternal Tome activated by the attacking Grand Warden looks to be about five seconds in duration at max level. The defending Grand Warden has gone down, but let's go back and take a look at the instant replay and watch closely as we point out the aura and you can see the aura disappear right here between the Archer Tower and the Air Defense as the Grand Wizard goes down. Of course, the aura disappears, no longer providing a hit point buff to any units in that area. So we will return to the remainder of this attack and you can watch the Grand Warden on the offense, shooting those buildings, buffing those dragons, moving in and you'll notice he's going to go down pretty quickly again. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. So once this dragon to the right of him goes down, there he goes and very quickly he's going to get taken down by the air defense and the archer tower. And there is that little dizzy halo animation over his head, although his cloak is still floating in the wind. And uh, this attack just about wrapping up. Now the heroes are going down last and already two stars, 56%. So pretty significant improvement, obviously, with the buff of the Grand Warden. But again, this is not a good representation because you're really looking at a, a 10.5 on defense because you don't have all of those new defensive structures, just the Grand Warden defending. But still a good example of the Grand Warden in air mode on offense and defense. In this next piece of footage, we get to see the Grand Warden defending on ground mode and a good example of his transition from patrol to petrified or statue mode as he turns into that statue and begins to fire on the golem that is moving in. A good example of the animations there and obviously again the pulsating aura that would be buffing the hit points of any defensive units in the area and in just a few seconds we will see the Grand Warden deployed on offense again in ground mode. Notice him in the army lineup there. There is no wing icon so that indicates he's set to ground. Here he comes and immediately he is going to start firing on the statue. Statue down so defensive warden out of the way. Attacking warden moving in and uh, just another good example of checking out our brand new hero for the very first time. So I don't know about you guys, but this update is beginning to feel more and more like Christmas morning when you know what all the presents already are, but you're still excited to open them. I cannot wait for this update to get here. Thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments and your feedback down below. Subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content. Check me out on camcord.com, the free live streaming app for Android and iOS. And I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Yalidon, that Grand Warden would look awfully nice right next to my gym box. <laughs>